So, I said I'd get a quick little update on last video, and I reviewed the Hell Knight, and I was talking about his leg. The reason why his leg breaks off so bad is because, here's my little theory, which I do believe it is right, it's not my fault, because I did not break this figure. I was very careful with it. Uh, it's the peg. You see, like, the right side looks a bit smaller than the left. Which is why it won't stay on, because you need those pegs to keep it on. You'll hear a little snap when it pops in, but the leg is still very loose because this other peg, which is this one right there, will not go into the other side because of how small it is, what she said. But, just wanted to let you know, because I said I'd update. I'm sure a lot of you don't care, but today, if I can grab it all out, we have the four figures Walmart exclusive uh, season seven of the Clone Wars figures. I have all four Walmart exclusive figures and yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get on reviewing. So we have all the season seven Clone Wars figures. We got Ahsoka Tana, um, 332nd Trooper. We have the Mandalorian Loyalist and we have Mandalorian Super Commando. Nice commando. Um, yeah, that's we have all of them. So we're going to do probably fast but maybe long video of us recording this. Um, but yeah, we have all of them right here. And we're going to start off with everyone's favorite, Ahsoka Tana. So all of these, I believe, have been opened. So we're just going to get right into them. I have... Uh, just kind of felt with them, just kind of looked at them a bit, but not really kind of studied them like I will now. But we have Ahsoka Tana with her two blades. Now, I'm going to be real. I have not seen Season 7 yet. I've been watching The Clone Wars, but I'm trying to work my way up to Season 7. I was going to watch Season 7, but... Uh, I wanted to get familiar with everybody again, because it has been a while, so I'm still on season one. <laughs> uh, it's going to take a while to get to uh, season seven, but you know what? That's fine, because Clone Wars is awesome. Clone Wars is pretty dope. So, with the figure out of the box, and you not being able to see anything, because I have to really look at it, what I'm doing, we have ourselves Ahsoka Tana. If you don't know who Ahsoka Tana is, then watch the Clone Wars. But if you do, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you. Ahsoka Tana was Anakin's Padawan. And if all you do is watch the movies, you better watch the shows. Because the shows have a lot more stuff to it than just the movies. But yes, this was Anakin's Padawan. Uh, yeah, I don't know too much. I know a little bit. I know that she was cast out of the Jedi Order because... Uh, she was accused of something that she didn't commit. Uh, she went off, started her own thing, and yeah, that's pretty much all I, I think I know. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all. Uh, I do have one little nitpick about this line of sets. Where, where, where where's Darth Maul? Where's my boy? Where's my boy Darth Maul at? For real, I want Darth Maul as a figure to go with the Ahsoka Tana, but hopefully someday they'll make it. Uh, but yeah, her face sculpt is definitely really nice. I definitely was able to try to find the best head sculpt for Ahsoka, and I think I found a decent one. I really do like it. Um, she is very nicely detailed. She's got so much going for her. I don't know what that means, but she has so much detailing on her. I love the gunmetal kind of gray on the uh, on some of these parts here, right there on the wrist and on the uh, dress skirt. I don't I don't know what to call it. Um, the boots do look a little plain. They could have added some gunmetal, but that could be accurate. But I'm not sure. But they just kind of look a little plain to me. Um, but yeah, the rest of her is very nice. Uh, her posability is basically 
standard stuff. He could pretty much go back that far. You do like a full rotation on the arm. Uh, there is a hinge joint at the arm. And the, also the arm can spin around like that. So can the arm. The arm can go. Can the arm go up and down? I don't think the arm can go up and down. And I don't want to try because she's got very small hands. And I don't want to snap one of them off. But the arm can rotate. Not sure about up and down. Uh, I think she can a little bit. Uh, from what I know. Um, has a nice little split there. Blake can go back pretty far. And front very far. Uh, she has a double knee bend. She has a pivot. At the foot. I don't know why it's not focusing. Pivot at the foot. And the foot can go up and down. So she's got some nice range of posability options. Um, the lightsabers are very nice i do like the lightsabers what i don't know is why is this one so small compared to this one i mean we're not comparing sizes here but I, but why is it small i don't know but it's kind of a cool design and you can also take the blades right off that is scary though uh you could take the blades right off the hilt on both sabers um, you can get a little closer look at the lightsaber. It's got some really nice detailing pretty much all the way around. And if you do not want to have her lightsabers like pretty much displayed on, you could put them a little hole right there in the side. You just pop that right in there. And she has one on the other side too. So you could pop both lightsabers right in there if I can. If I can. <laughs> If I can't, well, there's the okay, that one fell. <laughs> Getting there. Um, but yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Nice little weapon storage. Then you're kind of left with the two saber parts that are kind of just randomly there. So you can kind of have her in like this nice little, nice little pose or something like that. But that is pretty cool. Uh, the sabers. Uh, you can't really put anywhere on the figure when she's like this. She does have a little trouble standing up, but she does stand up on her own pretty well. Like I said, you don't know where to really put this, so you could basically just put them to the side. But that's pretty much it for Ahsoka Tana. I'm trying to go through this quick because we have a lot to look at. And also, what I forgot to mention while looking at her posability, she has some head rotation uh, she also has a nice little spinny, little spinny waist, and just a kind of bit of a crunch right there. That pops out, so that looks like it hurts, but, <clears throat> oh shoot, that's all I really wanted to talk about with her. But she is not the only one that comes with this line of exclusives for Walmart. We also have the uh, 332nd Trooper, which I'm assuming is... Some clones that decided to follow her, I guess. I know it takes place before or during, before Order 66, but kind of happens during the events of that or whatever. I don't know. I wish I did, but I'm getting there. Um, so I don't know if these guys turn bad when o Order 66 comes, but they definitely are cool. I do really love the orange on their helmets which we'll look at in a bit Shoot. there we go take that out gently place that there yoosh that out of the way take these guys out there we go take out his blasters don't ask me what these are called because I forgot. Usually I forget during a recording, which sucks because now I look like a stupid idiot. But I assure you, I do know what these are. But the figure is cool. Let's stand them up kind of well and let's take a look at them. So the 332nd Trooper does look really nice. Um, he's definitely got some nice detailing. I do believe, uh, I think these were Anakin's soldiers and then they just went off with ahsoka i'm not even gonna try anymore i'm gonna stop but 
he's definitely a very nice figure. I love the helmet. I love how just amazing that helmet looks. I love the orange. I love, uh, it's just awesome. I love this helmet like a lot. I also have the Lego set of it, so I got two versions of it. The blasters do look very nice. I very like the blasters. Um, these are probably like my favorite. I love these Clone War era blasters. Oh yeah, that does look nice. There's not really a whole lot of uh, paint on these figures. Um, that's my phone again, if you did hear that. I just dropped it, but they are very nice. Very nice to look at. <laughs> Where is it? There we go. Um, they are very nice. I do really, really like the look of them. The sculpting is very nice. The paint is just black, but that's fine. These ones are actually really cool. Um, what I did not know, what the heck is texting me? Anywho, uh, what I was so happy, or something that I didn't even know, that this part, the end of this part right here, it's a freaking stock. You can fold that part and turn it into a stock. I did not know that until recently, and I was like, really? Um, I feel like I have heard of that before, but I just completely forgot. So that is an awesome, that just makes this gun kind of cooler. But the gun cannot do that, sadly, but the gun is very nicely sculpted. Um, it does look like there's more paint. Like there's just like a couple gray spots here, and I think it's painted differently than this. Because this kind of just looks plastic, um, and it's just full black. This one actually looks like it has some weathering to it, or just some nice little dry brushing effects. I don't know what it is, but it looks so much kind of accurate than the uh, the rifle. Um, let's take a look at the posability. The head pretty much can go up, down, swivel all the way around. Um, he doesn't have another face, does he? Okay, that would have been... It looks like you could take the helmet off. I don't know. I probably shouldn't do anything. Um, the arm can pretty much go back that far. This is made out of rubber, so that's really nice. Pretty much go that far. Um, you can bend. Double bend, I believe, at the elbow. Um, there's some wrists move up and down, so I'm pretty sure Ahsoka had that too. Some wrists can turn. Uh, he's got a nice ab crunch and a waist swivel. I don't think this part can move, but... It still is nice. Um, the legs can go back this far, which is very nice. Can't really go back that far. Can't really go forward. It goes forward quite a bit. Um, there is, I believe, a bend. I think there's a double bend, but I'm not sure. Probably not. So there is a bend at the elbow. And the feet, it's kind of where I have the problem. It's very stiff with this foot. Um, there is a pivot, but it's kind of this foot okay now you decide to work when i was kind of fiddling with it it was very stuck but i think i kind of loosened it up a bit but yeah the feet can pretty much go up and down and have a nice pivot so figure is very nice this is definitely a really nice one to pick up and it looks pretty cool next to ahsoka so i guess we'll just move on to the next figure after we pose this guy next to ahsoka because it's pretty cool to have them next to each other. So the next figure we're going to be taking a look at, after we toss that out of the way, oh, it's going to take forever to clean up, because I do put them back in the packaging, is the Mandalorian Loyalist, which I know this guy is pretty hard to find uh, in stores. I have not opened this guy up. That's weird. I thought I opened them all up. I don't know where my knife is. But anyways, stop. People calling me, texting me. Now I gotta put two videos together. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much why there's a stupid watermark sign like right there. It's because sometimes in life people bother me. I'm kidding. It's fine, but I know it gets annoying and I don't really like the watermark symbol, so I try to go for a nice steady flow all the way. So let's cut this guy open. Where the freak is my knife? Is that it? That's not it. There's the knife. There we go. 
was wondering where I put it. Let's cut this guy open. Try not to ruin the box that much. Let's cut this guy open. Let's see what this man do. <laughs> what this man, whatever. Um, when Darth Maul betrayed and defeated Kuzo Death Watch. Oh, this is Death Watch. So this is um. Is this a uh, um. Uh, Bo-Katan Mandalorian? They have the same kind of color. Probably not. I don't know. Death Watch, this sounds familiar. And I think from the Mandalorian, I heard something about Death Watch, and that's what Bo-Katan's group is. I'm sorry, I'm still, like, not all there with the Clone Wars. It's been a while since I watched it. But I did watch the very first, like, movie when it was first announced in theaters, so... That's pretty cool. So let's take out this Mando. Bit a little ASMR for you. If you do like it. Honestly, I kind of like the packaging being ripped open. Unless it's like you're trying to be quiet. But there we go. Oh, he feels nice. I like the way that feels. I'm sorry, that sounds weird, but that sound that just that's just that's nice. That's nice. Alright, let's take a look at this guy. Um, so, he does have some... Ooh, I love that. The head feels nice and smooth on him. His head can go up and down. Uh, his arm can pretty much go there. Full rotate... What the hell was that? Full rotation at the shoulder. Uh, but his arm can pretty much go... Okay, that's kind of scary. But at least it doesn't go that, that far. Because that looked like it was going to snap right there, but... You can pretty much bend there, bend at this part. Oh, that's nice. Um, bend at the uh, wrist. The wrist can go up and down. The waist can go side to side. Legs can spread. They can go back that far and out. Pretty much that far, which is nice. There is a double joint at the elbow. So that's actually kind of cool. It can be definitely, if you had a stand... Which I definitely want to get some. Get some cool, like, flying poses. That'd definitely be cool on your shelf. Uh, but he's got a double joint at the knee. He's got a foot pivot, which is nice. And a toe can go up and down. So, that's pretty much it. He's a nice figure. That gets me excited for the, uh, the Darth Maul Mandalorians. But that is nice. Let's look at the uh, accessories real quick. His accessories consist of these... Blasters, which I've only seen with Mandalorian, so I'm assuming they're kind of Mandalorian exclusive blasters. They're very nice. He's get two of them. Um, he also comes with this really nice painted uh, jetpack. Um, very nice, unlike with the Boba Fett. These look like they're pretty much in the right section. But pretty, pretty much just putting the jetpack on is nice little simple smooth transaction there and you can put the uh pistols in his uh pockets there the detailing on this figure is nice the painting is great um i i love it i love how heavy he feels and i love these nice little shiny paint marks just all around him he does have a little paint mishap like right there it's a little yellow spot but honestly that doesn't bug me too much uh, there was worse ones i assure you that but i just love this the weathering or like the paint chip uh on the armor it looks nice and i love just how shiny he is he is definitely an awesome one. Ooh, at the helmet too that's awesome uh it is sculpted beautifully i love this figure that is nice i love it so we're gonna put him in a nice little cool pose because we want to look all looking cool Ooh, that is a nice one but we have one last figure to look at and that my friend is i don't know one of my friends is the mandalorian super commando i love this guy when i first saw him i wanted him so bad he was the first one i got too I wanted to make sure I had this dude. So, um, 
Oh, he looks so nice, and I'm excited to... He is unpackaged, but I don't think I've taken him out before. I don't remember taking him out, but... Oh, he looks so good. He looks so nice. Oh, that looks so good. Let's take him out. Ooh. That's very nice. Let's take out his pistols, his blasters. And take out his jetpack. And there's that. Oh, he feels great, too. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so nice. I love the paint so much more than this guy. I love the blue on him, but just this red with the horns and the spikes at the shoulders is so nice. I love it. Oh, this guy's so cool. So, ooh, let's take a look. He probably has the exact same posability, so I don't think I really need to point that out. I mean, it's pretty much the same standard stuff. It's what I pretty much just talked about. Waist, up, down. Is that farther? No, it's not. Um, Double bend, pivot. Oh, yeah. He's got the stuff, too. He is a nice looking figure. This is my favorite. If I had to choose just between one of them, it would definitely be this guy. I love this guy. Um, I do think that his belt, from what I'm looking at with him, he looks like he has so much more detailing than this guy. Um, I wish they should have went with the gunmetal gray with the, uh, with this guy. I mean, it might have been too similar, but I don't know. This light gray kind of throws it off for me. It might be screen accurate, but I don't know. Uh, especially the kneecap right here. I don't know. I think he definitely looks great, but I love the way this guy looks a little more. That is nice. And the jetpack is a so much... I love the jetpack on him more than him. I love this gunmetal gray look. And even the little things here are not all wonky looking, which is beautiful. Um, there is some paint uh, mess ups, which I did notice when I first got this figure. And I wanted to make sure. But there again, there was worse. There's a little red spot at this horn right here. And a little bit at his face. And that's just, just I don't know, fixed it. <laughs> But he's definitely awesome. His pistols are a very nice gunmetal gray. Unlike these ones, which were kind of more silver, these are more gunmetal, which looks so much nicer than uh, than this guy's, to be honest. But, oh, I love these figures. I was not expecting, like, I, I knew of these two because I have taken them out before. But these guys... I have not taken out at all, and I, I'm pretty satisfied with these guys. What was it like? They're 20, 40, 60. Okay, it was, it was a lot. Um, uh, that was like it's pretty much almost a hundred dollars. That's like eighty. It's eighty bucks right here for all four of these. But I love it. Oh, that's nice. I'm sorry, dude. I had to wipe my eye because it looked itchy. But I love these figures to oh they're so nice that makes me excited to see the clone wars and it makes me so excited to see a freaking darth maul figure it's what i want so bad i know they're making like a vintage one which is probably like what this big probably uh but i'm excited to see the six inch figure scale of darth maul that is what i'm excited for the most but with all that being said, these figures are nice. I think my least favorite one, I mean, they're all really good. They're all my favorites. Like, just just saying, they're all my favorites. I do think, from looking at it, he's definitely the best uh, than all the others, which is probably why he's going for so high. I really do love his design, though. So, it's kind of between the Loyalist and the Commando that get me. I don't know which one I would choose if I had to choose between one, but these guys are beautifully painted, beautifully sculpted. I think the least favorite one to me, uh, you could have a different opinion, which I would love to hear, is definitely the 501st Commander Trooper. He definitely looks awesome, but uh, 
compared to the, all the rest of them, like if I had to choose which one is kind of more blah, it'd definitely be him probably. But that's not saying I hate the figure. I love the figure. He probably does have a lack of posability with all the armor on. Uh, if he had a double joint at the elbow, that would be really nice to have the gun more over his shoulder. And maybe a double bend at the knee, which I don't think he has. I really don't. He actually might. But I don't think so. I don't see a little a thing right there to make it to where he can double bend. But I think it's just a single bend at his knee. Which is fine, but it doesn't give him so much poses, unlike these two right here. And Ahsoka was nice, beautifully painted. I love face sculpts when they get it perfectly right. I've seen some that are just terrible, like uh, DJ from uh, The Last Jedi. His face, it's so hard to find a good face of DJ that looks like Benicio Del Toro. But he, or she, I'm sorry, she definitely has a beautiful head sculpt. And just, there's so much to love about these figures. So, if you are looking for these guys, I'm not sure if they're at Walmart anymore. Uh, I pretty much got these guys before Christmas. Um, but if you guys do find these guys, I'm sure he's going to be the most expensive. Because he is probably the best uh, looking one and feels great. Just all that uh, than all the rest of these figures. But... That's pretty much it. These guys are were awesome to review, and I am excited for more. I want, I want like more characters. It'd be awesome to get a Darth Maul. I've said that over and over again, but I really want a Darth Maul because Ahsoka would look so good next to him. And having like maybe two of these guys next to a Darth Maul would be like freaking awesome. But that is gonna be all for this video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this. A little bit longer review uh, since I reviewed all of them uh, there's not really a lot I think he has a little bit of not as much painting detail he has just a tiny bit of paint mishap and I think these should have been a different color maybe a darker gray he's just fucking perfect <laughs> he's just perfect in like every way except for that little part but he's just perfect she is beautiful the boots do look a little weird but they're fine but she's just nice all these figures are just beautifully nice so again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video hopefully i might do this again because this was actually kind of fun to do just open all these guys up but that is it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one see you later